Hey guys, I wanted to give a quick update of where I was at with my development environment. Last time I talked about it, I was trying to decide whether to stay with Visual Studio Code or go back to Vim, and I was in the middle of setting up Vim, trying to get the themes and whatnot set up, trying to get ESLint and all the JavaScript tools that I wanted to use set up. And what I ended up doing is just actually stop tinkering with Vim. I was kind of tired of like trying to figure it out and I'm just kind of been happy with Visual Studio Code lately. And one of you guys suggested to use the terminal built in the Visual Studio Code. And I've been using that and I've been really liking it. So if I you hit control and then the tilde, it opens up this little terminal here. And this terminal is the same as any other terminal. And the cool thing is I can actually run Tmux. So now I can do split screen here. So I'm in Visual Studio Code, but I have two panes open right now um, using Tmux. So I can do an ls, see what files are here, and stuff like that, and it's super cool. And the cool thing about Tmux is I can attach to this session anywhere. So I have my terminal here, I can do Tmux attach, and now I'm in the same thing as over here. Now it just looks like there's like a site display change because um, there's these little dots that show up everywhere. I'm not exactly sure why those pop up. It's when you have two Tmux that it open over here in uh, iTerm as well. But we can kill that. Um, but I've been really enjoying using Tmux with this. And this is pretty much how I've been developing stuff as of late. It's using this right here. Um, maybe doing an NPM start to start things up and then doing stuff over here. But just using this little panel. And if I hit Control tilde, it'll close and I can reopen it and it saves that. So that's what I've been doing lately and I've been liking it. Um, that keeps terminal there and I'm still able to just code JavaScript right here, which has been really nice. And I thought I'd go over real quick some of the plugins that I have and also my settings because I forgot to go over those and there's a few things that have changed. So I used to have a prettier ESLint extension, but that actually has uh, been basically depreciated and now there's only one prettier extension for Visual Studio Code and what you do is you say prettier.eslint integration is equal to true in your user settings and what this does if you don't know what prettier is it formats your JavaScript code and makes it look really nice so whenever I'm coding it'll, if I save the file um, it'll reformat everything and it'll look nice and that's why I have format, format on save it'll actually run prettier uh, whenever I save the file. And also this ESLint integration, what that does is it integrates it with ESLint, so you're following all the ESLint rules. What it'll do is it'll run prettier, make your, fo your code formatted nicely, and then do an ESLint fix to make sure ESLint is working nicely um, and you're not breaking any rules when prettier format stuff. So that's that. And also the only other plugin that's new for you guys is the GraphQL plugin. Um, this is really nice. It just adds syntax highlighting for GraphQL. So you might have noticed how my GraphQL is nicely colored like this. You can see the string are green because of their types and then the mutation here. That's because of this nice little plugin right here. It's GraphQL for Visual Studio Code and it formats, not formats, but syntax highlights that. I also have a Reason plugin, but that's for using Reason. That's pretty obvious for using Reason. And then of course the usual Vim for doing all the key bindings, Python for Python, of course, and then just ESLint, which is basic. Now I wanted to real quick go over my user settings. Um, there's nothing actually too special here. I'm just setting um, one Vim basically setting, which says, if you're aware, if you know how Vim works, um, basically there's an insert mode, and the way you leave insert mode is by hitting escape. And I like to add a little hotkey where I type JK to escape out of um, insert mode. So that's what I have set right there. So if I type JK, it's like pressing the escape key. And then I just have my font sizes, um, formatting on save. Um, that way prettier runs and then also run ESLint. And then here we have just some files to ignore. Um, node modules is the key one here. This thing gets giant and I don't want Visual Studio Code trying to load in node modules um, over here and get nice and large and then just a few other like get you don't need dot get files as well. Um, you don't need to see that. 
these other ones I think these are default from something this is a Mac thing I forget what these files are or why they were here I added this a little while ago and then here um, this detects JavaScript files so all your JavaScript files will be tabbed over by two spaces um, just preference of how I like my JavaScript style is two spaces and then or I guess this is two tabs or yeah two tab spaces I mean so a tab is equal to two spaces so here you can see this is two tab spaces um, so by default I believe it's four so it'll look like that um, whereas I like it to have a tab be there okay and then these right here um, I actually don't know where these come from just like randomly one day they showed up my my settings file I don't know if a plugin added these or what I actually don't know exactly what these do I can only guess this gets rid of a message of some sort I don't know what the zoom level thing does um, let's put that back there and then um, the startup editor I assume this is just the name of the default file when you haven't saved it yet but not sure exactly but that's what my setup is for my settings for Visual Studio Code and I will be using this as my main editor pretty much and pretty much I don't even need to open I don't even have to have an iTerm session open like this anymore because I have the terminal here and I have everything that I want so I'm going to be using this more um, and yeah that's it for this video guys thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one